Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey, and in today's video, we're going to be building a package from scratch that we can pull in through packages and we can publish it to different users. Now, this package is a little fun package that will hopefully lighten up our day by telling us a random joke when the command is ran. Now, the first thing I need to do is set up my working environment so that I can develop this package on my local machine without having to upload it to GitHub and then publish through packages. So I'm using Windows and I'm going to be using Laragon. However, the principles will work no matter what operating system you're using. So the way that Laragon works is that all of the websites and everything are stored in the www directory. What I like to do is inside my Laragon folder itself, make a packages directory. And then inside here is all the different packages that I'm working on or I have ideas for. I've gone ahead and created an empty folder called artisan joke, as this is gonna be the name of our package itself. Now I'm gonna switch over to my terminal and I'm gonna run composer in it. What this is going to do is it's going to bring up a small little wizard that will set up our composer file for us. So we just need to fill kind of this information out. For the package name and vendor, a lot of people use their own name. I'm going to be using Lair Academy here. So I'll say Lair Academy Artisan dash joke. And the description I have here. So I will just copy this in. And the author, I'll just say enter to accept the default. The minimum stability I'll use as dev. I'm not going to supply a package type. However, the license will be MIT. And I do want to define my dependencies. We're going to be using an API to pull in these jokes. So the dependency that I need is going to be guzzle HTTP. I'm going to select the first one in the list here and just tell it to use the um, most up to date version. So I'll just hit enter here. And now that that's done, I can just hit enter again. I do not want to search for any development dependencies and I can just say enter to confirm generation. Now with everything I can clear my terminal and I can switch over to Sublime and inside my artisan joke folder, I now have this composer.json and it's just this small file here. We need to add two things in order to get this to work with Laravel. Basically, we want this package once pulled in can just be ran. The user will not have to put anything in any of their config files. It's just going to work once it comes in. So the first thing we need is an auto load. So this is going to be what is going to be loaded automatically. We're going to tell it that we're using PSR4 folder structures. So in here, we will have, or sorry, naming structures. We'll have layer academy namespace you can find in the SRC directory, which we will make in a second. The next thing we want is an extra field, and this is for Laravel itself. And in this extra field, obviously for Laravel, we're gonna look for providers. And in the providers field, I wanna say that Lair Academy commands artisan joke service provider. And once again, this is all things that we are going to make automatically. So now I have kind of the default folder structure here. I can get to work in making the plugin itself. So I know I need a SRC directory. So in my artisan joke, I'll make a new folder called SRC. And then within this, I need a commands folder. So I'll make another new folder called commands. Now you can see I have an artisan package folder here. This is a default version of Laravel and it's gonna help us in testing our package and also creating some of the scaffolding. So let's actually use this to create some scaffolding for the files that we need. The file, first file that we're gonna need is a service provider, which is this guy right here. So in the SRC directory, we'll make a new file and we'll call it artisan joke service provider.php. And also in the commands, we're going to make a new file as well. And we're going to call this joke command.php. Now I'm going to close these two just so we don't get confused here because I'm going to use the Laravel folder to create some of the scaffolding that I need for the plugin here, or sorry, the package. So in my terminal, I'm going to go out a couple directories into my 
artisan package and then I'm going to run PHP artisan make provider and now I have to give it a name and to keep things simple I'll just use the same name so I'll say artisan joke service provider now I'll also say our PHP artisan make command joke command now with these two files created we can copy their contents into our package so within apps providers we should have a artisan joke service provider so I'll just copy that contents then in the artisan joke in the src the artisan joke service provider i'll copy that in and the only thing i need to do here at the top is change the namespace i'm going to change mine to layer academy slash commands and this is all based off of the composer.json file that we're working with here now you can close that and inside the laravel providers I can delete that service provider and I can find my command in console commands and then joke command so I'll copy that contents and I'll put it into my joke command and then go up to the very top and once again change the namespace to match what I said it was going to be in my composer file and just like before I'm going to go to my artisan package and remove that command completely now we're done with the Laravel version, sorry, the Laravel site, we can work strictly on our package itself. Now the command is gonna run an API or it's gonna contact an API to pull in a random joke. The API that we're gonna be using is called Icon Has Dad Joke. It's an open and free API that will allow us to pull in random, sometimes good, sometimes bad, dad jokes, and hopefully make the developer laugh. You can read the documentation here. There's a whole bunch of different things that you can do with it, but we're just gonna stick to the basics. So let's switch over to Sublime Text and start filling in the joke command itself. The signature I just wanna have as joke and the command description, I have it here. I wanna make sure I copy it. Give me a second. I will copy and paste it in. And now we can kind of scroll all the way down to our handle function. This is where we're going to have to write the bulk of our code. Now, like I said, we're going to be contacting an API. So we're going to have to use guzzle HTTP. So let's make sure that we require it or use it at the top of our file. We'll say use guzzle HTTP client. And so we can come down to our handle function and create a new client. And with this client, we want to store a response for a request. Then we want a get request, and we are just going to request or throw the request to the website itself. So once again, I can has deadjoke.com. And now we have to pass in just a couple headers. So we'll have a parameter for our headers, and it's actually just one header that we need. The only header that we need is our accept header, and this is basically saying what we can accept back. So we're gonna accept text, or plain text back. Now let's just throw in a simple check. We can say if our response uh, get status code does not equal 200, meaning something went wrong. We could say this error uh, cannot contact joke API. And we can get away with saying this error because we're writing an actual Laravel command. So this text will turn out red and we can just return out of the function. The only thing we have to do is say this info because we need to display the joke itself. We want to use the response and get the body of that response. Now the only thing, because we're using guzzle, we're gonna to have to cast the body to a string. So all we have to do is say string. So this is casting that entire body to a string. Now before we can move on, we still have one more file that we need to edit. Inside our artisan joke, we have the service provider. And this is gonna be pretty straightforward. All we're gonna do is register a command. So within the register method, we're going to tell Laravel about our command. So we could say this app singleton. So we grab only one instance of the Laravel application. Sorry, I'm, I'm speaking as I type here. And we are gonna register this command here. 
And now we need to tell Laravel specifically where that command is. So we can say return app, and we are in Laravel Academy slash command slash joke command. And make sure that the casing is all correct. Then finally, we could say we need to register this commands. So we are going to register command dot academy dot artisan joke. Now, if our spelling is 100% correct, this is going to work out of the box. So let's close what we have and let's switch over to our artisan package, which is our Laravel website itself. In the composer.json, we need to add one more thing before we can actually get working. Now, I haven't uploaded this package anywhere, so I, I need composer to know about my package, even though it's not actually uploaded on packages. So if we come down, always put it after the auto load dev. We need to make a new structure here called repositories. Repositories. And inside here is where it's going to be the path to our repository, which is the folder that we've been working on here. So our repository is going to contain an item. That item has a path, or sorry, the type is path. And then the URL is going to be relative to where our composer.json file is for this Laravel project. Now, looking at the top bar here, you can see that I have composer.json inside a directory called artisan and then www. Now, like I said before, I like to put everything in packages. So that means that I just go out to directories and go to packages. And then I named my folder artisan dash joke. And let me just give this a quick look over. I think that looks okay. We will get an error if we've messed up somewhere. So let's load up our terminal. We are inside our Laravel application. Let's do a composer require. And what we want to do is we want to require this package here. So let's require this named package and let's get the dev dash master. And if we've spelt everything correctly, composer will link those directories up and we should see a message here in the next couple of seconds saying that it's junctioning the folders which is basically just doing a sim, sim link. And now Laravel's taking over and it's discovered our package. You can see right here that we have that joke package. So what's it mean when it says junctioning? So just any time that we change anything in our folders here, it's automatically gonna update our vendors itself and vice versa. So if I come into vendors and I go to Lair Academy, Arson Joke, and I update something here, it's automatically going to update in this folder. So that's how a sim link works. Okay, so enough explanation. Let's see if our command is actually in Artisan. So we'll run PHP Artisan. And if we scroll up, let's see if we see our command here. And you can see that we do have a joke right here. Okay, so let's run our command. This can be pretty exciting or pretty bad. So we'll run PHP Artisan joke. And ooh, looks like we have one issue here our headers are not actually being properly um, properly converted so let's go to our joke command and if we scroll down let's see we have header and i believe what we want is going to be headers with an s so i'm going to make the change this is actually perfect i'm going to make the change in my package and save it and even though i've made the change in my package if i run php artisan joke it saw that change, went out to the API, and returned the plain text version of that joke. Kind of pants to go square, and boo jeans. So we can actually continuously run this command, and it will go out to the internet, it will go out to that API, and return the joke automatically for us. So now that we have the basics of our package down, the final steps will be committing it into GitHub and loading it up onto packages so everyone can download it and enjoy some jokes. At this point, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and if you like what you see, please consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please help by passing the word around. Thanks a lot for watching.